courses duly extended. I am pleased to welcome National Executive Committee members to the Democratic Party to the 93rd meeting of the committee. This meeting was decided at the 92nd meeting of this committee, during which the Working Committee was mandated to come up with a proposal to compose a National Convention Organizing and Zone Committee for the for the ratification of NEC today. The main committee and subcommittees of, of the success. The main committee and subcommittee are of the success of the elected national convention coming up end October 2001. And I was in meeting met separately and came up with the proposal to be presented to this by the Directorate, by the Directorate of Organization and Mobilization to the, the third meeting of NEC for the ratification and approval. I call on the members of NEC to study and approve the proposals. I also call on the main, on the main committee and subcommittee to work tirelessly for success of this coming convention. The success of our convention will bring Nigeria and Nigeria to our dream country where democracy, security, economy, and fighting corruption will be actualized. I wish to I wish God guidance and direction done and after challenging assignment. I once again welcome all to, you all to the next third next much great party. God bless. PDP. Thank all of you for this very important meeting of NEC to consider the preparation for the next for the next coming convention. Therefore, this meeting is so important and uh, very necessary for us to look very crit critically the need for us to come together and do the best we can to keep this party united. I'm not sure with the corp of ladies and gentlemen around and with the good planning on very admitted that this party is going to remain one. This party is going to and win the 2023 by the great of God. I bring to this neck felicitations and greetings of your governors, the 13 governors of the PDP, and to further assure you that we shall continue to work and continue to make this party proud. Yesterday at our meeting, we received briefing from our candidate for a number of elections alongside the chairperson of the local campaign council. We interacted and we have given them and to this body and to our party members our commitment that by the grace of God, we are going to work with the leadership of the party and our members in Anambra State to fully support our candidate and for our party to win convincingly come uh, November 6th. We are going to give that support totally and fully. And we have made commitment that we are going to be part of the campaign. We shall move round with the candidate. Governors will go there in bits and pieces and segment and we shall 
be on ground to give them all the support and moral uh, booster. We shall continue to support our party. The convention is here. By the grace of God, we are very prepared to support our party for a very, very successful convention. I therefore on this note appeal to all our leaders that we must continue to reconcile ourselves, close ranks, and forge a united force so that come 2023, we shall rescue Nigeria. The national greed. And I ask them, which national greed? Is it the national greed of kidnapping? Is it the national greed of uh, endless growing? Is it the national greed of insecurity everywhere? Is it the national greed that we don't even know what is going on anymore? That those who want to go to that greed, they are very, very misguided and don't understand what governance is all about. There is no need to go to a dead party that is also controlled by those who are living in the 13th century. Let us now follow PDP in the 21st century and go and win an umbra for Nigeria. I also want to say that the National Assembly is behind our party as we chart a course to be able to take over Nigeria in 2023, starting from our convention in October 30th, 2021. Let me start by actually commending the leadership of the various organs of our party, particularly the Governor's Forum, who have shown leadership and who have steered the affairs of the with the support of members of NEC. I believe these challenges we have met are challenges that only PDP in this country can go through them without breaking into pieces. So let me congratulate all the organs of the party for going through these challenges and resolving those challenges and getting stronger by the day. We just inaugurated the Anambra Election Council and this is the first time since the inception of this party that I have witnessed Anambra State this united. And rest of the members of the party to make sure that this time around we bring Anambra State back to the fold in PDP. Ladies and gentlemen, I commend and congratulate all party members for standing steadfast to the principles of democracy, rule of law, and therefore that is eventually what is going to lead us into success.